what's going on my fellow guardians thanks again for joining me this is hoplon we're gonna be checking out the stormcaller subclass for the warlock seems pretty decent and i can't wait to use it and it's gonna make you sort of like emperor palpatine you know arise and use the dark force anyways let's check out the abilities guys all right first up we got the post grenade this is a grenade that periodically damages enemies inside its explosion radius this one seems like it's going to be pretty cool. It's called the Storm Grenade. It's a grenade that calls down a focused lightning storm. And the final type of grenade is called the Arc Bolt Grenade. This is a grenade that chains bolts of lightnings to nearby enemies. Pretty good for crowd control, I guess. First up, we got Glide, which can be activated by pressing X after jumping. Next, we have Focus Control, which upgrades Glide for better directional control while in the air. Next, we have Focus Burst, which upgrades Glide to provide an initial boost of speed. The final type of jump we have is called Balance Glide. This one upgrades Glide to provide bonus to both speed and control. And this is a super you guys came for, it's called Storm Trance. It allows you to chain arc lightning from your hands. This next ability is called Landfall. This one gives us on casting Storm Trance, fire a bolt of lightning into the ground creating a devastating shockwave on We next have Superconductor which doubles your Storm Trance lightning's chaining capabilities. And finally we have Ionic Blink which lets us teleport during Storm Trance when we press R3. Next up we have Thunder Strike, which delivers an electrocuting arc melee strike at extended range. We next have Chain Lightning, which gives you your Thunder Strike chain to another nearby enemy. Next up we have Amplitude, which increases the range of your Thunder Strike. And finally we have Rising Storm, which gives us hits with Thunder Strike charge, your super ability and your melee energy. Once again, our friend Claudrome didn't go over all the codexes, but um, this last one's called Arcane Force and it's training focus on toughness and speed. Next up we have Pulse Wave, which gives us when critically wounded, trigger a Pulse Wave that boosts speed for you and your allies. We then get Feedback, which gives us incoming melee attack speeds fully recharge and intensify your thunder strike. And finally we have Transcendence, which gives us when cast with full grenade and melee energy, Storm Trance restores your health to full and drains slower. This next codice is called Ancestral Order and it's training focus on all attributes. We then have Electrostatic Mind which gives us in Storm Trance charges faster when allies are near. When Storm Trance is active, nearby enemies take damage. Next up we have Arc Web which gives us enemies damaged by your grenade chain deadly lightning to nearby enemies. And finally we have Perpetual Charge which gives us grenade kills recharge your melee and melee kills recharge your grenade. Alright guys, that's it for the Storm Collar abilities. It seems pretty cool and I can't wait to use it. And I'm having a hard time deciding which character I'm going to actually start out playing the Taken King with. I'm stuck between all three. <laughs> you guys might be having the same dilemma. Anyways guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave some comments and um, I'll see you later guys.